now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. It's a scam you've probably never heard of, but one that's easy to fall for, the Green Dot scam. Reloadable debit cards using the legitimate Green Dot cards is the new method for moving money by thieves. Tonight, problem solver Susan Hogan uncovers this scheme and tells us how to avoid getting ripped off. Well, for years I've been warning you to be leery about wiring money to any company because chances are, according to the FTC, you may be dealing with a scam. Now, we've been noticing an increase in schemes where fraudsters succeeded in collecting payments using reloadable debit cards. It'll take about five uh, business days. So. This Warwick woman says she thinks she's a victim of a loan scheme. I'm fed up and I'm scared. She's so upset she asked not to be identified, but she felt strongly enough to talk to us so that others don't get taken. I uh, wanted to uh, for dental. This woman, who we'll call Maria, needed a small loan. She was contacted by an out-of-state company that offered her a $5,000 loan, but she had to pay them more than $1,800 in fees and loan insurance first. The caller told Maria to get a Green Dot Money Pack card, a reloadable debit card, and then load the money onto the card. He said, as soon as you get the money pack, you need to contact me and give me the numbers on it. Maria did what she was told. He says, thank you. He, uh, he says, you should get your monies um, in three to five hours. The money never came. That's when she called 12 for action. I thought something needed to be done. Uh, they need to be exposed. Call 12 for Action contacted the so-called loan company. They never returned our call. We also contacted Green Dot Money Pack. In a statement, the company says it warns consumers to protect their money pack numbers just as they would cash. Bottom line, if you need a loan, make sure the company is licensed in Rhode Island to do business with the Department of Business Regulation. If they are not licensed, including the agents themselves, then they're working illegally. We did some checking. The company that contacted Maria is not licensed in Rhode Island. If you're living in Rhode Island and you're being contacted by a lender looking, for, looking to give you a loan, then they do need a license in Rhode Island. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where they are. And according to the Federal Trade Commission, if you are asked to pay a fee for the promise of a loan, you can count on the fact that you're dealing with a scam artist. For more information on these reloadable debit card scams and how to check whether a loan company you're about to deal with is licensed, go to WPRI.com. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.